Willman Education. Welcome, dear learners. Today's topic is air. Properties of air. Air is colorless, tasteless, odorless, gaseous matter. Odorless means there is no smell. Number two, air occupies space and has mass. Number three, air dissolves in water. That is why aquatic plants and animals survive. Number four, air is all around. Air occupies space. How do we know? With a simple experiment. Here is the experiment. Experiment to show that air occupies space. Fill a plastic bucket half with water. Introduce an inverted glass bottle into the water. Observe the bottle. Does the water enter the bottle? Water does not enter the bottle because of the bottle is filled with air. Now tilt the bottle slightly. What, the, what do you find? You will find the bubbles of air escaping through the water. This shows that air occupies space. So from this beautiful activity, it is fairly understood by the learners. Air has mass. We can also prove it with an experiment. Let us see whether air also has mass. Take a deflated football, keep it on the left pan of a beam balance as shown in the figure. On the right hand side pan, keep some sand gradually till the pointer or the balance is at zero mark. Thus, the mass of deflated football is balanced by the mass of sand. Now, inflate means put the air inside the football and place it on the left pan of the beam balance. What do you observe? Is it balanced? You will find that to balance it more sand has to be added on the right pan of the balance. This shows that air has mass. Air can be compressed. Air is a gaseous substance. It can be compressed. A large amount of air can be put into a small space. You compress air when you fill a bicycle tube or a football with air. Now composition of air. You can see the percentage of composition of air by volume. Oxygen 21%. Nitrogen 78%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, inert gases fairly 1% approximately, water vapor varies, dust particle varies. So this is the percentage of composition of air by volume. Remember that air is a mixture of gases. Here oxygen is one fifth and nitrogen is four fifth. That is very interesting in fraction to know all this. Is air a compound or a mixture? Often this question comes. Now already you come to know that air is a mixture. Composition of the air changes from place to place. In cities where there are more vehicles, factories, etc., the percentage of carbon dioxide is more than the villages. Remember it. So, this diagram shows the percentage composition of air by percentage. 
So nitrogen is 78%, remember, 21% only oxygen, that means one fifth. Air is a mixture of gases. So now, experiment to show that air is a mixture of gases. Here is a beautiful experiment to show that air is a mixture of gases. Take a glass or plastic trough, fill it about one third with water. Dissolve one teaspoon of caustic soda, that is sodium hydroxide in water. Add a few drops of ink. Now fix a candle on a metallic or a stone block. Put the block in the water. Light the candle. Cover the lighted candle with a large glass bottle with a wide mouth or a gas jar. Observe it carefully. Now presence of carbon dioxide in air and that is why the whole plant kingdom is surviving because when they prepare the food they take carbon dioxide from the air and they make the food by the process of photosynthesis. So here is the experiment that we are going to show you to show the presence of carbon dioxide in air. The presence of carbon dioxide in air can be shown by using lime water. Some lime water is taken in a test tube and air is blown into it through a glass tube from mouth. When air is blown through the lime water for a considerable time, then lime water turns milky. The appearance of milkiness in lime water on the passing air through it shows the presence of carbon dioxide in air. And remember that this milkiness, the presence of carbon dioxide is evident when the clear lime water turns milky. When you pass excess of carbon dioxide, then again this milkiness will be disappeared and it will be again clear. A mixture is an impure substance. Remember that when we call air is a mixture, so let us see the mixture's characteristics. This is the second characteristic, a mixture consists of two or more substances. We can see in case of air, there are quite a good number of gases, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and the, and the noble gases. A mixture is not chemically combined. So not a single sub component is chemically combined. A mixture has variable composition. That means the constituents of a mixture can be present in any ratio or proportion. That is why the in the cities where there is more vehicles factories and the people the percentage of carbon dioxide is always high number 5 in a mixture the constituents do not lose their identity that means a mixture retains the characteristics of its constituents that's very important uh, characteristics air is necessary for burning So here is the activity to show that air is necessary for burning. The required materials are a candle, a bell jar, a matchbox. Procedure that means method. Number one, take a candle and fix it on a table. Number two, now light the candle. It burns and gives a flame. Number three, now cover the burning candle with a bell jar. Now what do you observe? That is your observation. The candle under the jar continues burning for some time and then gets extinguished. That means put out. So what do we conclude? That means conclusion. What is your conclusion? When the oxygen inside the inverted bell jar is used up, the candle gets extinguished. This, this proves that air is necessary for burning. And over here, 
oxygen is actually used and oxygen is only one fifth of the air which helps in burning. Thank you very much.